My name is Alan McKinnon. I'm the author of the Decarbonizing Logistics book. Uh, in the book, I look at all the things that uh, companies can do to cut carbon emissions from logistical activities, predominantly from freight transport. Uh, the good news is that there are many, many things that can be deployed uh, for this purpose. Um, so what I try to do is I classify these things into five categories. Uh, so the first set of measures uh, would reduce the underlying demand uh, for freight transport. Uh, so, for example, companies might want to uh, relocalize uh, their sourcing or decentralize some of their operations uh, because these things would have the effect of shortening the supply chain. Uh, perhaps technology will help here and the use of things like 3D printing uh, might again reduce the amount of stuff that they have to move. The second category of initiative um, relate to shifting uh, freight traffic um, from higher carbon transport modes like air and road uh, towards rail and waterborne transport uh, as well. Uh, now, efforts have been made for many years uh, to make that shift for environmental reasons, but uh, our concerns about climate change uh, give us an added incentive now to, to get as much freight as possible onto these low carbon transport modes. The third set of measures relate to the utilisation of logistics assets, the vehicles and the warehousing, uh, to make sure that we maximise the use of that capacity. Uh, for example, currently uh, about a third of truck kilometres are run empty. Uh, so if we could find a way of backloading the vehicles more effectively, again, that would cut carbon intensity. The fourth thing relates to energy efficiency. Uh, if we could drive the vehicles uh, more fuel efficiently, um, if we could operate our ships uh, with less uh, energy, then again, that would translate into uh, a reduction in carbon emissions. And then the final thing uh, is the carbon content of the energy that is used in logistics. Uh, logistics is very heavily dependent on fossil fuel currently. Uh, so if we could find ways of uh, moving to biofuels, for example, or to hydrogen, or, or more likely to electrify uh, freight transport operations with the low carbon electricity that would become available in coming decades, that would be a very effective way of decarbonizing logistical activities.